In today's video, I'll be putting together a tiny N-Gage 1150 scale papercraft railway station while chatting about my reasons for starting with such a basic piece of layout scenery. It's that depressing week before payday, so I'm having to come up with an easily affordable project. Top of the list of some of the potential projects I could be doing is finding a cheap way to start off my scenic planning. This isn't easy, as N-Gage pre-made layout structures can be kinda pricey, even second hand. So I went looking for some sort of kit building option that suited my near non-existent budget. After some searching, I came across a Japanese website that features some rather charming 1150 Japanese buildings in the form of papercraft kits, which you could download for free. And this was exactly my sort of price range at the moment. Now these little buildings are a little simplistic, but they will give me some inspiration for future scratch building projects, and also familiarise me with the workings of N-Gage Dimensions. Plus these look like a great way to spend my time at the moment. The process is consummately simple. Download the PDF kits, cut out the parts, and glue them together. Again, obviously these models are a bit lacking in detail, and what detailing they have is rendered in flat and two-dimensional print. But one of the useful things about these tiny buildings, for a complete engage beginner like myself, they will be perfectly adequate as placeholder models until I finalize the plans for my finished layout. In fact, these houses will help me plan the space I will utilize in any of my residential or commercial areas of my layout. And being free, I can print out and build as many as I like, thereby getting a pretty good idea about how I might position any future scratch-built versions. So, was it worth the effort? Well, yes and kind of no. Undoubtedly, these flimsy paper models are not a long-term solution for my scenic needs. They're a bit janky and hardly realistic. That said, some of this is probably due to my poor construction, which has highlighted my continuing issues with dexterity prior to my stroke. There again, this project has achieved some of the goals I had in mind. It's provided me with a temporary placeholder model with which I can gauge the use of space on my projected layout. It's also given me a better idea about N-Gage structural dimensions, which is kind of important as I eventually want to scratch build my own buildings based on reference photos alone. The details on this paper kit has given me plenty of examples of Japanese architectural style and accents and I will certainly be using these as a template to implement detailing on any future models that I build myself. Lastly, I like the layout of this cute little station, although I'll be certainly expanding any later scratch-built version of this. It definitely fits into my notions of a nostalgic Japanese aesthetic, which is what I'm trying to achieve for my final layout. And that's it for this week's video. A very basic project, but it's all part of my approach to this new hobby of taking very small but achievable steps towards my final layout.